Shell, you know, accepting you may one day find yourself in an active shooter situation is tough, but being prepared is easy. In the next 90 seconds, I'm going to break down the eight minute video CSU is circulating to students so that you know exactly what to do if you're ever in that situation. This may be the most important video you will ever watch. The video starts off strong, defining an active shooter and reminding people <laughs> shots don't always sound like they do in the movies. So if you hear anything like gunfire, immediately jump into action. You cannot wait for the police to arrive. You cannot wait to act. Here are your options. First and foremost, run. If you can run away, do it. Use any door or window you safely can. Run in a zigzag pattern. Don't look back. And once you get to safety, call for help. If you think it's too risky to leave your current location, hide. Get into a room, lock and barricade the door, turn off the lights and close the shades. Make the room look empty, take cover and be quiet. Wait for the police to come find you. Last option, fight. Grab whatever weapon you can, pens, rocks, glass bottles, fire extinguishers, and use the element of surprise to immobilize and disarm the shooter. When you fight back, don't stop too soon. Fight until the threat is over. After the fight, run, get to safety, but keep in mind police might already be on scene at this point, so keep your hands up and make sure they know you're not the threat. All this can be your key to survival and the survival of others. This could be the most important video you ever share. Now, final survival tip here. Don't assume someone else has already called the police. Trust me, the police cannot get too many calls about an active shooter situation. Live in studio tonight, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News.